Hey, I, I watched the video. Could you believe that? I was just watching this thing. I just, it, I just came across it on YouTube and it was about, oh, black person time, black man time. And um, they were talking about the need or is it right to use that phrase? And some people felt it was derogatory. Some people felt it was, um, it was racist. Some people felt it was not nice. And some people felt, well, I've never even heard of it before. So what are you talking about? I'm throwing this open to us today on should there be a phrase or a sentence about black person's time, black people's time? We're still talking about time management. So where does that fall into? Um, the reason why I'm saying this is that, yes, in a way can be derogatory, but should we let that happen to us? Or what situations or what scenarios is it allowed to say, oh, it's because they're black. That's why they're used to being late. I'd like you to think about that. And if you have a comment to make, please feel free to make it. Um, I want to lay some, uh, uh, just a few pointers about what does it mean to be late? Why should we be fashionably late if we don't have to be late? Why should we keep people waiting when we shouldn't keep them waiting? Why should we do things in such a way that we lose out on? And because that is the impact of being late not only for us but of our children so i want to give you a few pointers when we go to an appointment late we go to a class late we take our children to school late there's that tendency that we think about being disrespectful not just for us but for our children or for the other party and i'll give an example there are times you might go to a class and then the, the, the lecturer, the tutor has started teaching. They've given the house, the, the, the ground rules. This is how we're starting. And they're way there, but halfway into the session. And then you're just rushing in. And it's like it disrupts a lot of activity. It disrupts the teacher. It disrupts the class. And they have to get their thoughts back together. And then the classroom itself, they've got to now wait for you to settle down. They've got to wait for you to catch up. And then you might even have a question that might have been answered. But because you were not there when they asked the question, then what happens is that you're wasting time. You're wasting people's time. We might go over the time that was slotted for that, you know. And if you don't get the value for money for being in this class or for being in the session, you will feel bad. So I want to encourage us that these are things that it might not be you, it might be somebody you know, but I think these are things we really need to think about if we, when we talk about our being in a land or being in a country or being in a situation whereby we can, we can improve on how we, we attend functions, on how we attend uh, appointments. Um, the, we've, we've gone to GPs or we've got uh, dental appointments before. What they do is that they will tell you if you're 10 minutes late, they will not give you that appointment again. And you know how bad it is when you booked an appointment for such a long time and you, you don't make it or you're there late. They can give some grace, but then it shouldn't go beyond that. So I need us to think about that because in our psyche, in our, you know, psychologically, we're thinking that uh, if I go for, for a function, oh, I don't want to be the first person there. And then, and then because if you're the first person there, then your time is wasted. And so then you're, you're late and then the other person there, and then we, it gets to be a habit. But that habit should not flow into other serious aspects of our life. Why do our children get to school late? It starts from when they were young, because if they're made to know that they need to be in that classroom, they will not miss out on the topic. They will not be bullied and they will not be labeled. So these are the things that we need to think about when we're looking at lateness. It's about, it's about the respect that is there. Because if you don't respect other people, it will impact on what is being done and how it's being done and how things are being said. If perchance you are late, I don't see any reason why you cannot quickly send a text or make a phone call say, I apologize, I am, I'm going to be five minutes late. Can this be done or can I change my appointment? That, that is more respectful than just not saying anything at all and or not just turning up because you're late. I think we really need to think about this for our communities, especially when we've just moved into the country and we're learning how to integrate and we're learning how the system works. 
These are uh, uh, just a few pointers for us to learn, to know, and to understand. Because I realize I'm learned from my experience when I came when I came into the country so many years ago. I went for my national insurance number interview, and I was late. The reason why I was late, it's not an excuse anyway, but I'm just saying it. I I. I thought I could just get out on the road and then catch a bus. That was my thinking. And I, 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 I was there at the bus stop forever. I got there late and I got a telling off anyway. And I said, oh gosh, I don't want, to do, I don't want this to happen all the time. And I, so I had to learn what it means to be on time. And if I'm not going to be on time, I need to explain that. If especially when you're trying to get into the habit of learning how to get work or get into school and things like that, we can't blame the buses. We can't blame the roadworks. We can't blame that. And I'm not just saying it because oh, it's us. I've seen people, colleagues like that, that, you know, it's like an excuse every time for a session. But we really need to plan. We need to plan where we're going, how we're going, when we're going. And if things happen, they happen. But let's do what we can so we feel less guilty. So that's what I want to share about Black People's Time. If you have a line or you want to talk about it a bit more, drop me a line and like it, share it and subscribe. Thank you.